do one of these. Check out this beast, huh? This is the Ezra Bridger third lightsaber. This is the one he builds in the Ahsoka series. I'll leave a screenshot of the saber right there so you get kind of an idea of what part it's at. It's, I think it's I think it was the finale that he made it. But um this saber's got the Xeno 3 configuration, which for those of you who are familiar with Xeno 3, you can edit the blade and do stuff with it on your phone. I'm not going to get too in depth with it because I haven't used the app before, so I'm still learning it. Um, it came with a bunch of fonts, however, I cleared them all strictly to have all Ahsoka series fonts. But I didn't, I didn't like get rid of them, get rid of them. I just kind of took what was on the card originally and just moved them to a different spot on my computer and then loaded all new stuff on here. This was going to be an unboxing, but I decided against it. But here's another up close look. It's not chrome because chrome tends to be fingerprint magnets. These little LEDs light up. Uh, um, they're not uh, coming from the battery pack and lighting into there. They're actual LEDs. That's the activation button. The top doesn't do anything. It's just one solid piece. Uh, it's not showing very well because of the light from my computer, but uh, this is like a brassy gold color. Um, can't really see in there either because bad lighting. Um, but in there is the Xeno configuration and uh, some LEDs just around the pins. So when you don't have a blade in it, it'll light up. Uh, it's got a D-ring. Holes where the sound comes out of. To get to the chassis, you just unscrew this part. And there's the SD card. The battery. As you see, there's an LED on the chassis itself, indicating that it's on. And the kill switch. I love that. And of course the pins for the Xeno setup. And deep in there is the sensors for this. Like the little connector pad thingy. Don't even know what to call it. But yeah, in the show, uh, this section's like already built and he starts adding to it and he Yang's handing Ezra some pieces and Ezra's going, no, 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 I, I got this. And he's making a mess and Hu Yang's just not having it. And if, you, if those of you who've seen Rebels, you'll recognize that emitter. And yes, it actually was uh, canonically uh, Kanan's other emitter. Uh, Hugh Yang actually states uh, he had two of them. Kanan had one, and he stashed the other one in case Kanan never needed it. But yeah, let's get a blade in this puppy. For those of you wondering how much blade depth is in there, I'll give you kind of a, a demo of that. Let me just adjust the camera here. So, that section of blade is in there okay just give you kind of an idea yeah that's that's a lot of that's a lot of blade depth oops fix fix that hope it doesn't turn out too blurry because tiny tiny LED screen or LCD screen does not do the eye justice. Oops. There, got my blade in. I got a 32 inch, 32 inch blade. Nothing, uh, 
nothing too fancy. To go ahead in a font, I'm gonna bring it to the man himself. Ezra. Ezra. And this is with the lights on. This is freaking bright. I have it set to a red flash for some reason. Hold the button and clash. Lock up. That is a really bright blue. If you don't want it, uh, and this is what I was talking about with the LEDs in the handle, the red and green. And sometimes if you have it on a red font, uh, it'll light up more of an orange in a red. And then, but you could also have like different, uh, different blade effects and stuff. I have it on just stable for now until I got go through all the fonts. Next font. Maroc. Maroc, the Inquisitor. Also known as the overly trained gas cloud. Some of these you gotta really smack. Clash isn't going to show up for some reason because it's red. Nope. Lock up. And sometimes uh, it doesn't really respond to too well. To gestures. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just doing it too fast. But uh, to go to the font, to go font forward, you point the blade straight down and give it a twist. Gesture controls. And um, to go backwards in a font, some of these would have an illuminated button. You got to wait for it to blink four times when you hold it down, and it'll go to the next font. This one, you got to kind of like. Like, you know, you gotta kinda count in your head. Stupid table. Sabine. And I have this on low volume, by the way. Shout out to Kyberphonic for all these fonts, because, wow. Ah, one of my favorite characters. Rest in peace, Ray Stevenson. Showing up kind of red on camera, but it's like a blood orange color. There we go. It's kind of it. It's orange. Can't have Balin on there without his apprentice. Shin's my favorite character on this. That accent swing, no. That, that really sharp whoosh, noise. It's kind of cool when the flash is red, but the blade's orange, you know? This one. 
So this is Anakin when he's in the world between worlds. Spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it. This next one, I should have added something like you lack conviction or whatever. Something pertaining to when Anakin kind of flips and his saber's red. But for some reason they chose this. Come on. Now why isn't it doing it? General Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, I mean, it's, it doesn't always respond. This is evil Anakin. Well, it's more Vader Anakin when he's going against Ahsoka and sends her back into the the weird the weird place. I'm gonna call it. This is what I mean, like the um, LEDs pop up more of an orange. Camera's not picking up on it too great, but... Come on, Snips. This is uh, Ahsoka from the Clone Wars flashback. When they, f like the first flashback scene. And she still has the one green lightsaber. I think it was the Battle of Teth that we see in the first, the first scene. And this is Siege of Mandalore, Ahsoka. Back to blue. And this is this it. Uh, the sabers that she uses when she faces with uh, evil Anakin in the show. And the blaster effect on this one, you can hear Mandalorian blasters. Oh, come on. Ahsoka Tano. The main, the main attraction of the show. It's popping up blue on the camera, but it's actually white. Like... And I put another Ahsoka font on here because it's kind of in the same timeline. Ahsoka Tano! bo sent me. This is when she faces off with Mando. You hear the, the Beskar slashes? Slightly different swinging. Come on. Ezra? 
There we go. Show you a few things with uh, the Ezra font. So yeah, it's, it's got different activating noises depending on which way you hold it. So, mute if you're, let's say if you're filming and there's dialogue on top of the blade uh, being out, you can put it on mute mode just by holding down the power button for a, for a second and then letting go real quick before turning it on. And to turn the power back, or the sound back on, you just, one. Volume high. That's loud. I'll put it back to low for now. Volume low. Uh, if I do one, two. Unstable. I could do uh, different blade effects. This is now on unstable. Epilepsy warning. Especially with that one. One, two. Rainbow blade. Candy blade. Uh, there we go. One, two. Cracked blade. This one's cool. It, it like sparks here and there on the blade. I don't know if you can see that very well, but. And this one is just kind of like, kind of like if the saber was breathing. One, two. Flash blade. I'm gonna activate this over here just, just in case. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So flash and unstable. Uh, if if you're an epileptic, I would steer clear of those. Fireblade. Fireblade, this one's cool. This gives kind of like the, uh, it's not showing up very well unless I put it right up to my shirt, but it's giving like that scrolling Kylo Ren type of feel. The only caveat I have about Xeno setup, it doesn't have that OG flicker. You know what I mean? One, two. Steady. And then steady. Which is what I've had it on on all the other fonts. You can also do the ignition uh, change up. So one, two, three. Broken ignition. Broken ignition. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ignition. This one's cool. Again, if you're an epileptic, don't don't use that one. Um, that ignition, I see it a lot in a lot of commercials for these different lightsaber sites. One, two, three. Stack ignition. Another really neat one. And also certain ignitions will change up the sound effects a little bit too. Let's do that one again. One, two, three. Warp ignition. It also changes the deactivation too. Warp. One, two, three. Phaser ignition. Ooh, phaser ignition. That one 
deactivates like in the middle. It's weird. One, two, three. Scavenger ignition. This one, uh, if you've seen the Rise of Skywalker, the end, the ending scene. You see that? Like, watch right here. It gives the the ray effect. The ray yellow lightsaber activating. One, two, three. Hunter ignition. That one might be another epileptic unfriendly. One, two, three. Standard mode. And then back to standard. There's a lot of like gesture controls and stuff too, but I have them shut off because any little movement was setting this thing off. Now to change colors on the fly, you can do it the old fashioned way, which is hold hold it like downward like this, hold the button for a second and then twist like this. So click, sometimes it does not work right away. So now when it says color change, scroll. So if I want to give, let's say I want to give Ezra a red blade. I just scroll to red. Color selected. And click the button and it'll say color selected. Or if I want to just let it go through the color slowly. One, two. Color change. And this is me not even turning it, it's going through by itself. Let's say it hits the, bring it back to the blue that it was on. And that looks about it. Color selected. Wonder. One, two, three. Oh, let's do anything. Dark Wolf Sabres, they hit it out of the park with this one. No, I love this. Very now the weight, it's very light. Like it's not, it's not very, it's not very heavy. Get a nice up close on those LEDs lit up. Switch it to a red color. Morocco. Switch it to Morocco. You'll see what I mean when I say the green one doesn't show up as bright on a red font. See what I mean? Like it's it's more red, orange. And then when I switch it to a green. Sabine red. Just illuminates like crazy. No, uh, shout out to Kyberphonic once again for the fonts and Dark Wolf Sabers. Excellent job. Absolutely love this saber.